questions in English, five minutes on the clock, and a native speaking English teacher. Welcome to Five Minute Friday. Hi everyone, Chris here. Welcome to another Five Minute Friday. And I think today's Five Minute Friday is very special because I think, I'm not 100% sure, but it is my 300th video on this channel. 300th. That's a lot. 300 videos is certainly a lot. And I've had some great questions for Five Minute Fridays during that time. And today, is no different. My bag is full of nice questions from you, my viewers. Um, I'm going to put five minutes onto my timer and let's start answering the questions. So question number one is, what is your favorite color, food, country and music? Okay, um, color is easy, definitely blue. I love blue. Uh, Food, spicy food. I really like spicy food. Um, a couple of years ago, I traveled to Southeast Asia, countries like Thailand and Malaysia and Cambodia. The food was mm, excellent. I really, really like that style of food, spicy food. Um, country, country is difficult. Um, I love France where I live. Um, I used to live in Switzerland. That is also a beautiful country. I really like how clean everything is, how organized everything is. I love how everybody is on time. I love that. Um, and I also love Australia, England, Ireland. Ah, too difficult. Too difficult to choose that one, sorry. And music. Um, I should choose my own music um, because I am in a band and I think if I didn't choose my own music, Outback Music is the name of my group, um, I think my singer Neil, my friend, would be very unhappy with me. So that is my favorite music. Um, if anybody is in the Montpellier region, come and have a look at my band. I'd love to come I'd love for you to come to one of our shows, Outback Music. I'll put a link in the description. But now let's go to the next question. Do we get on or get in a bus? I have heard the two. Ah, I've heard the two. Hmm. I have heard both. Both is better. Um, get on or get in a bus? Well, in fact, we get on a bus. We get on a bus. I know n normally on is when you're touching something, you get on. Uh, my glasses are on the table, things like that. But no, for transport, for public transport, where you are sharing with other people, we get on. So we get on the plane, we get on the train, uh, we get on the ferry, we get on the bus, etc. But we get in a taxi. This is a private transport where you're not necessarily sharing with somebody and we say to get in. But for all the others, we actually say to get on. That was a good question, thank you. Next question. What is the difference between to seek and to look for? Well, they are both very, very similar. To seek and to look for, very, very much the same style, but to seek is stronger a little bit stronger. And um, we often use to seek for things that we are looking for, but are very, very difficult to find. Um, I'm seeking my one true love, okay? My one true love, it's a difficult thing to find. I'm seeking love. Um, I'm seeking inner peace. I'm seeking inner peace. Yeah, very difficult to find. I'm seeking eternal happiness etc, etc. Um, whereas to look for is normally, yeah, I'm looking for my keys. I'm looking for, I don't know, the train, etc. Okay. Um, to seek is just a little bit stronger. Um, but it's funny that it is often used with things that are very, very difficult to find, 
because we actually say a job seeker, a job seeker, yes. And I guess, yeah, a good job is sometimes difficult to find. But that's a good question, thank you. Let's go to the next one. Um, and my next question is, hi Chris, might you explain to me the difference between to fancy and to feel like? Like I fancy some pasta or I feel like some pasta? A oh, very nice question. Fancy is British English and you'll not hear an American say, hmm, I might fancy some pasta for dinner this evening. They won't say that. Um, they would say, yeah, I, I feel like some pasta this evening. I want some pasta this evening. So yes, fancy is very British and it is also, um, how would I explain? It's not from a modern generation. It's a word that you would have heard a lot back in the 50s and the 60s. It's a very polite way of saying I, I want to. Oops, there's my five minutes. Um, just stop my clock. Uh, yes, yes, a fancy is a very older generation way of saying I want, I would like. I fancy going to a film this weekend. I would like to go to a film this weekend. I feel like going to a film this weekend. The meanings are all the same. But yes, fancy is just older British English. Um, I actually do see it in books though here in France, Learn English Books, um, because most of the Learn English Books sold here in France are British English. And most of them are really quite old too. And they're using older style of British English. Something like uh, pupil is another good example. I'm sure most of you probably learnt that at school when we're talking about the children who are in a classroom, we call them pupils. It's older British English. Normally today, we call them students, students, okay? But in all the books I see here in France, it's always pupil, 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 pupil. Difficult to say many times. Um, they were all the questions for today. Thank you so much, everybody, for those questions. If you have questions for me for next time, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments of this video or any of my videos, and I will put them in the bag for next Five Minute Friday. Um, and as I said, if anybody wants to come and listen to Outback Music, please come to a concert or just go and listen to me on YouTube, an old YouTube channel, uh, and I've got a Facebook page. I might put the links down there in the comments for you below. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.